everyone. Today we're continuing to talk about the newest addition of Forex systems to our services at Endotech, and specifically about their modeling. As you may have learned in the previous video, there are many differences between the Forex and crypto markets that define how we trade and what strategies we use, with emphasis on three areas, size of moves, liquidity, and price patterns. In the crypto market, I hope you already understand that the main approach we take is the trend following signals long term, and we optimize it on a daily basis to make sure that we enter and exit at the right times. On the Forex side, we do the opposite short term swing. Why do we do the opposite on the Forex side? The answer lies in the last difference, price patterns. There is a standard 80-20 rule that says markets trend about 20% of the time and spend the other 80 grinding through the trading ranges, pullbacks, and other counter trend action. What is the main idea in swing trading that we use at Endotech? In crypto, there are 30 to 40% of the trend moves, while in Forex, there are only 5 to 10% of trends. Finally, while crypto trend moves are clean and almost noiseless, Forex trends are comparable in size to the counter trend actions. Trends are just two or three times larger than the noise. It's easier to take advantage of the noise than of the trends. That's what we do in Forex. We developed several proprietary indicators that identify the temporary overbought and oversold situation. We use them to enter the trades. For the exits, we combine these indicators with time-based, stop-loss, and profit target exit rules. The main aspect of the modeling is to define goal function, meaning the definition of success and failure of the model. Since we only see the past, our goal is not about profitable modeling of the past, but the best identification and utilization of the patterns. Similar to all other professions in their respective fields, we aim to be accurate and create success for our clients. For example, a physician's final goal is to keep us healthy, and the successful physician is measured by how many issues he or she identifies and treats. Our goal is to reach accuracy of at least 66% of such predictions and to lose, on average, no more than 1.5 of the average winning trade. This is enough to make a winning strategies, and let's see why. Profit and loss equal to the number of winning trades multiplied by average profit of the winning trades minus number of losing trades times average loss of the losing trades. If 66% accuracy is reached and the average win-loss is sufficiently small, the strategy will be profitable and quite stable. The pros and cons of swing trading that it is much more professional and demands attention to details. Swing trades should have perfect timing for entry and exit, while in our crypto following systems, we can err by 20-30% of the exit. In swing trading, every percent counts. Trades are shorter and there are more trades overall. And here comes the fun part of what artificial intelligence does for us. The devil is in the details and AI helps us understand them. Because many professional traders and bots are involved and they use advanced information about the market, so should we. They are predefined economic events and the market knows how to react. If there is a week with no economic events, with an event only at the end, you will see very different activity from a week that is full of events. The second aspect is the global trends that are dictated by the global trends in the economy. And this is where DAISY project of the fundamental analysis comes into the picture. Our team of AI, financial analysts, and quants designed their model for the Euro-Dollar pair to predict next week price movement and volatility. They used methodologies of the feature selection to decide what markets, economic indicators, and news affect the euro dollar price with KNN, Random Forest, TableNet, and XG Boost models. The results of the best model are quite surprising, with an accuracy level of 86%. By combining swing trading, economic calendar, and the fundamental analysis model, we reached the goal of 66% winning rate 
with less than 1.5 in average win to lose trades. More detailed results and analysis will appear in our Endotex blog section. Next week, we will be discussing AI modeling for optimization. Bye for now and see you next time.